This short video will show you how to construct the binomial probability model in Google Sheets. The reference distribution that will be constructed here will be for the number of trials, n equal 14, and a parameter value of pi equal 0 0.50. We will also obtain a p-value for the WSU vitamin A study of the males. The outcome from that study was a 3. The type of test was two-sided for that situation. So in computing the p-value, I'm going to need the probability values from 3, 2, 1, and 0 for the lower side, and then 11, 12, 13, and 14 from the upper side. So let's go ahead, go into Google Sheets, and show you how to get this done. The first thing I'm going to need to do is create a list of all possible values. That list is going to go from 0 up to the number of trials, or 0 up to 14 here. The label that we used in the WSU vitamin A study was the number that we're over, so I'll label that column appropriately. This column is going to go from 0 up to 14 again, as I said. Instead of entering all of those values, what you can do in a spreadsheet is obtain a list, as I've done here. So get that list started. Highlight that list, 0, 0, 1, 2, and then highlight that entire list. And then from the lower right-hand corner, you can left-click and drag down and what that'll do is autofill that column so you don't have to type in all these different values. In column B here, I'm going to obtain the binomial probabilities. So let's go ahead and label that appropriately. And in this cell, or to obtain these binomial probabilities, I'm going to use the binome dist function. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see me using that function. So I'm going to type equal binome dist, and then I need a parentheses. I'm going to use cell A2, and that is just my first possible outcome over here. So that's going to be the 0. So what we're doing here is calculating the probability of a 0. The next argument is going to be the number of trials, which is 14. The third argument is going to be 0 0.50. And then the last argument is false. And what false does is just obtains each individual probability for me. Go ahead and hit Enter. And that value that is returned is the binomial probability for a 0, or of a 0 under this situation. To, to, to obtain, excuse me, to obtain the others, all I need to do is copy that formula down for the remaining cells. So again, grab that lower right hand corner and drag that down for all the possible values. So there you have all the probabilities listed out for number of trials 14 and the probability of success of 0.5. The expected outcome is 7 in this situation, and you can see that it indeed has the highest probability of occurring. The other thing that you might notice is the symmetry in this distribution. So notice the probability for 6 and also the probability for 8 match, or the probability for 1 and the probability of 13 match. This occurs in a binomial probability distribution when the parameter value is at a half, like it is in this case. Let's go ahead and show you how to obtain the graph. So highlight both the possible outcomes and their probabilities, and underneath Insert, we'll select Chart. The graph that comes up initially is this one here. If you want to change it to more like a bar graph type instead of a line, 
chart type. We do that over here. So here's chart type. It's default is line chart. If I want to change that to a bar chart, then I'll have my binomial probability distribution. So there you go. You can edit this graph if you want. You can change the colors. You can change the titles. I'm not going to do that here. So now let's obtain the p-value for the WSU vitamin A case study. The probabilities that we need to highlight are 3, 2, 1, and 0. So again, I can just select those cells by left-clicking there. So select 3, 2, 1, 0. I also need the cells or probability values for 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I can highlight two non-adjacent sets of cells in Excel or in Google Sheets by highlighting my first set, holding the control button, I believe it is, and then I can go down there and highlight the other set. On a Mac, I believe it's the command button. So these are the probability values that we need again from 3, 2, 1, 0, and then 11, 12, 13, 14. The sum of those is the p-value. So these are just the individual probabilities on the lower end. Call that p-value low side, and then we have the p-value high side. The sum of everything highlighted is provided down here in the status bar in that lower right-hand corner. So Google Sheets and Excel will compute that p-value for me, which is just the sum of those probabilities, and that's again down here in that lower right-hand corner. Okay. So that's how you compute a reference distribution for a binomial probability model in Google Sheets, and then also obtained a p-value for the WSU vitamin case study. Thank you.